Hello and welcome. My name is Ruby Ace and this is CAT, also known as Cat. Today I'm going to feature Raiders, new MMO RPG that is based on monster hunting. To get uh, started, I will show you briefly the character creation. This game is currently in closed beta, so things are, as always, subject to change. So, the character creation, as you can see, is quite simple. It's nothing that. Well, look at this character. That's. Well. Well, okay, yeah. That's not care about what the default character looks like. But yeah, so you have these four different classes Defender, Berserker, Cleric, and Sorcerer. And actually, you are not limited to play the one class only which you have. So you, after, if I'm correct. If I recall correctly, after level 10 you can start taking points to different class trees so that you can create hybrids. For example, you can be Berserker Cleric, so you can be wielding two-handed swords while healing and so on. So you are not that limited in that way. So let's just take a look at this character creation. You have this normal face types, nothing that groundbreaking, you can't really change that much your character so that's not very in depth but well I don't know how in depth you are actually looking for so let's make something silly here this looks very promising to me yeah So you have these basic options, hair, col hair color, hair type, face type, eye color, some tattoos which are a scars or some sort of triple marks or so on and you can change the size of those if you may. And well you can change clothes which are starting clothes which well it doesn't really matter which one you choose it's just down to preference. I have to say this manly pink is not maybe for me, so let's chase it for brown. It looks great, but anyway, I have already created a character, so I'm not going to start new one. So yeah, here is my current character, level seven berserker. I played this one to two hours, if I recall correctly. So what I can say, this is action RPG which is becoming quite of a trend in my opinion in these new MMO RPGs. The Terra Online does it, Quilt Wars 2 does it to some extent and so on. The difference with this one is that this is actually free to play instead of those what I mentioned where you have to either buy the game or or just pay for the subscription. So the one big part about this game is that since it's monster hunter there is these monsters that you are obviously going to hunt and well it has pretty big meaning with the weapons you are constantly trying to get new weapons and actually you can either get those from the monsters you are killing using the parts of the monster as a weapon for brief moment it's not lasting for that long usually you can kill few monsters with that weapon until you lose it but also you have to kill monsters in order to get regains for new weapons which you can craft so it's heavily based on killing monsters for weapons and well quests and so on as you can see here are all kinds of things. Let's just try if I could get some weapons out of these guys so that I can actually show you what I, what it is like. I can't 
actually remember which ones give me weapons and which doesn't. So let's just mac random guys here. Someone at the speech gave me a big fist that I could use for smacking. It was actually quite powerful. But it wasn't these guys either. There seems to be a weapon lying on the ground. Let's see if I can pick it up. So I'm quite skeptical. No, I can't because it wasn't my kill. But these guys should give me something. Let's try. So as you can see, the combat is well. You can actually affect it. It's not just click on target and spam keys. You can actually do something, which is nice. Well, I didn't get any weapons th from this guy also. Well, let's try a few more. If that doesn't work, then I just let it be. Maybe do it later. So, as I was saying, this is free to play game which requires n no purchase or anything. So, you can start it right when you just get the game released. Oh man, where the hell are those weapons? And to be honest, I don't really know about the model, how they are going to get money. Most likely it's some cosmic items and so on, but I don't really know as there aren't a shop which you can use. Or at least uh, I have to check if I can wind find one, but I wasn't able to find one earlier at least. If this one doesn't give me a weapon, no, it doesn't give me anything either. But as you can see, I got this mysterious beat stand and whatever beat stand and so on. They are reckoned to use it for making armor and weapons and so on. So as you can see, I had completed few quests. The quests are quite linear, nothing original actually. They are mostly just go to explore this place like this one was and so on and kill X amount of monsters or and that w and so on and so on so it's not groundbreaking. I mentioned Terra earlier and I have to say this is pretty similar to that. It remembers me about Terra ha a lot. Uh, I had to try one with small, but no luck. So as you can see, the game of course needs some polishing. This, that's the fist part, but I then can't take that one either. But you can get that as a weapon that you see in the ground. So the game needs some polishing, for example, the fonts on used in here are, well, just some random font that they've most likely picked that was first in their hand. So of those should get polished, but it's not that big of a deal at the moment, doesn't really affect the gameplay, it's just some visual effect. But how oh, I can take this cannon? which I had earlier, which I can use to shoot. So it's nice that you can get different kind of weapons and use them to kill and it brings nice variety to the normal grinding of and kill doing these pretty boring quests. What it comes to storyline, I have to say that well it didn't really grab my attention at all, I haven't that must pay attention to the story, but I don't know. It depends how there is the story definitely, but I haven't really cared about it that much. So I can't really tell you what's the big deal here. As you can see, there are some instances at questing areas. Oh, actually, I think this is just an instance. Well, let's see a bit if what it's like. 
if I can actually do this alone or do I require a friend to have with me or a party, let's see uh, oh, apparently I get this NPC to help me so as you can see that guy is called Silver and so when most of the NPCs have pretty ridiculous names they haven't put that much effort into the translation but maybe they will I don't know it, if it really matters if they are called Silver and Cold and some other stupid names but someone might care about that fact but but uh, I think this is originally Korean game, so the translation is a bit lacking in that part. But I haven't really noticed anything major with the translation that would be silly or anything other than the names of the NPCs. One cool feature is that you can have two different weapons that you can swap. I have actually two different w swords as they were the best ones I had. But you can have as a berserker two hand mace and two hand sword and uh, and of course when you if you choose to take talent points to different trees you will have maces and scepters and whatever you decide to have as your alternative option. The question is not that hard, these mobs have doesn't really have that much, doesn't give that much hard time what I think I was seeing in Terrop, so I, now I'm taking a beating as I'm not even trying to dodge. But as I said, there is a dodge option, you can with shift and the direction kill you want, you can just dodge to the direction which makes it's quite easy to fight against strong enemies and you can even solo some of them alone because of the dodging mechanics dodging is made in a lot better way than it was made in Terra Online well I have to say I didn't play with all of the classes so I can tell for everyone but in my opinion this works better than than in that game here, here you can see some que oh, it already vanished but you could see some h statistics how many quests and so on you had completed during this session there were some problems for example had last time I played this I had completed well, you can see it, I had completed three quests and I had only r started two, so it has some books, but it doesn't really matter after all. Uh, you can still get the right amount of the quests you started from the complete, so... Anyway, but I'm sure those will be fixed later on when the game gets released. It's not just beta stuff, most likely. And here I'm once again doing something for n no apparent reason for myself. Maybe I should, if I read the quest text, I would know. But this falls down the pretty much same I had with World of Warcraft. That when it's only presented with text, you are not. Well, at least I'm not that interested. Why I'm doing this stuff? I'm just mostly doing it just because I'm told someone likes to do it I think that these sections could really use some voice acting it's just text appearing and nothing else but well it's just maybe that I've been more or less spoiled by other games so at the moment so that I want voice acting for my more cutscenes on these kind of things 
Oh, is he going to escape again? Apparently, yes. So I have a feeling that I will be following this guy for quite some time already. Or not. Apparently, no. Well, well, whatever. Oh, I can move again. Yeah, he disappeared again, but... Well, anyway... So... Yeah, let's see what's happening. There seems to be something bigger and... Stronger. Maybe I can get to fight, that's why I can show you how the fighting with bigger monsters actually work. If this thing is going somewhere... So the big monsters really can give you hard time at least when you are alone and maybe even in party. Once again I have to refer back to the Terra Spam monsters. They are quite similar to that. Those who don't know Terra Online at all, they are big monsters which deal quite a lot of damage, are hard to solo for m most of the time and so on. Now let's see if this guy actually releases. No. Uh, this. I'm <coughs> sorry about that. These sections where they start talking is that those who don't care about the story at all, they are just breaking the gameplay a bit, but. Maybe majority still wants to know what is happening. Okay, so now I get some bigger monsters. If I could actually hit it. Yeah, so as you can see, it doesn't lose almost any health for my attacks. And I failed to dodge the attacks, so... And again, so this is really great demonstration how to play this game. Okay, so now I get to actually do something. And here is a part of the monster which I can use as a shield. So this is w the kind of gameplay that I was talking about. But now I'm actually going to take a beating. Unless I can actually start to improve my dodging. So yeah, these monsters there should be all kind of this as this is a monster hunter MMO RPG. And there you see I lost the shield. They it's somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds I think. I s have to see if I have some kind of potions which I can use. Oh yes. And now since I have that inventory, there are some problems with the camera as you see. And I'm most likely going to die to this guy. Unless... Yeah. This was actually the first time I ever done died in this m game, but it doesn't matter. But actually I had some scroll so I can continue from where I left off. Oh. Maybe I should try to let that NPC tank it a bit more so that... Ah, this is really a bad demonstration how to dodge these attacks. I uh, assure you that I did it a lot better earlier. Uh, maybe I uh, can just blame the commentary for failing this so badly. And maybe using those extra attacks is not that great of idea. I think I just played safe now so that I can... Okay, so now I get him down. So m maybe I can actually finish him now. Or not. I think I have to abandon the shield. 
Okay, so I finally, after a long time of struggling, get that monster down. That wasn't really the solid proof of how to play this game, but anyway, mission completed, mission completed. It doesn't really matter how you make it to the end. So, after I have loaded this the world I will show you a bit about the talent trees so that you can get some idea how they are structured and so on and now with the game times the game seems to be loading quite a lot usually it loads see me fast but I don't know most there can be a crash also as this is as I have said multiple times so already closed beta so the beta client is not the most stable case and it might result in crashes I think I had only one or two crashes actually one crash and once I got stuck so that I had to restart the game oh yeah as you can see failed to move to the field let's try if it works this time and nothing seems to be loading well if this one doesn't work then I just show you the talent trees in the instanced world one thing I have to say about the game is that it seems to be using a lot of facing for example the beach I was at the start of this video it had some low level level 2 or 3 monsters when I first got there then I went to some other area and came back and it had level 6 monsters so I don't know if it's a thing with every area or is it just this first area that I'm currently playing at which has this heavy facing going on but if it's everywhere then I think it can be a problem where you can't actually play with your lower level friends that easily okay well, let's just show you the skills or talents or whatever you like to call them this is my persecutor tree I've just put some points to these abilities to get them actually I can just get some damage for my weapons but yeah these are the passive masteries which you get from putting points to this tree so basically you might want to put all in one tree but it just comes down to preference as you can see here this allows you to put skills on other styles and that's level 10 so you can be defender or cleric or sorcerer also if you want to be and they all have their own th trees as with their varieties I haven't really placed sorcerers I might have to try that out also to know if what kind of gameplay they have but as you can see there is all kind of talents for PvP, PvE and so on this year pretty much simple picks there are stuff that it gives you health and resilience and movement speed and straight out damage damage buff so it's not some rocket science that you need to be using to actually make some trees out of it, these places so ooh, yeah I think this pretty much gives you the idea what kind of talents you can have you most likely are supposed to use some kind of mixtures of this to get the best ben benefits but that's pretty obvious as you are more or less suggested to do the mix-ups but I can't unfortunately do it as I'm only level 7 at the moment alright let's see if I have something else to show you well, there aren't that much the usual items you can have necklaces and rings and earrings and so on 
and even some kind of face mask I believe but I don't really know what they are yeah and costumes but they are just well there aren't that much well let's say dance animations are always let's put it there because dancing dancing is always important part of the game everyone needs to know how the dancing moves look and yeah it's like roller skate disco fever or something like that well yep I think I'm once again trying to leave this area let's try it this way maybe it loads this time oh and it loads immediately maybe I should have tried the first time doing that uh, and now who wants to take my quest no one actually and but if you will take a look at this NPC name as I said smiling sword lolita pirate fighter silver Bored Morris Darren mm, yeah well Bored Morris and Darren okay but shy smiling sword Lolita uh, really well yeah pirate fighter is very original name so yeah I don't know how much they are actually recycling these levels let's see the world map I am at the moment here so there are quite a lot of areas but I would guess these aren't actually at least in beta world most likely they aren't and for that I don't know if they are for use when the game launches but judging by these routes they might be so okay I got a I have to try once more to get that damn fist as it was so great weapon and see if I could actually get this this time uh, yes there is the fish now I can show you th how to beat me guys with fresh tuna and as you can see the damage is very nice in this one it m but please remember that the weapon only lasts for maybe 30 40 seconds so not even maybe that long so it's not that groundbreaking it helps you kill one or two guys fast and then you have to get the new one but depends what you are killing you might end up having them all the time but as you can see I can two hit this guy with the fish I think it's funny that they are taking themselves too seriously and putting fresh tuna in the gameplay to kill stuff so it's nice I'm quite sure I'm going to get out of this area pretty soon as I think I've been to every location unless it does the facing thing again and I have to go to some place old hmm well okay most likely this once again to changing oh, right yeah so now I can get the new area I will run to and try to finish up what I think about the game and whether it's cool, ambitious or just terrible actually I'm going to level up my points here to can I get a new ability mm, uh, yeah but I don't want that I just get more damage well yeah so yeah the one of the strong sides in my opinion is that this game is actually free to play I don't know the pay to play market is in my opinion slowly dying off of course there are some games like World of Warcraft and EVE Online that are holding on but uh, there aren't really any newcomers that can really hold it 
the secret world terror online they seem to be struggling a bit and well Star Wars the Old Republic just went free to play or is it coming soon well anyway it is going free to play eh? so I don't really see future in this bit play market and as free to play game I haven't played of course all of the free to play MMO RPG games as there are quite a lot of them but from what I've played this one is pretty strong in my opinion of course the Star Wars might come closer depending what your preference is even better but I like this one a lot I would say that I could even see myself playing this one when this is launched even though I'm pretty much avoiding these kind of games because they are just very huge time sinks that's why I haven't actually been playing Terra 8 anymore I played it for almost 80 hours in one month which is quite a lot in my opinion when I put all the other stuff I did play uh, to that man also so I think this might be something that I want to try again later on and in that way I think it's cool what it's come to if I would say this is ambitious game well there is this one thing that it's a monster hunter game which is something that's more or less a dem on demand because there haven't been any actually that focuses on monster hunting usually they are the rides where you just go to kill bosses for loot and so on of course I can't say about the end game of this game as I haven't been even near to that but what I would understand the monster hunting should be a big part at the end also so yeah I would say that this is nice that they are actually trying to bring something new and the fact that they are giving up the old hotkey based combat system and using this action system is quite nice in my opinion there are some tweaking to do with the attacks and for example the two hand attacks uh, sometimes feel to be a bit slow and the damage seems to be applied at the very end of the attack not not when you actually hit it but well well there's are not big concerns and they are just once again the better stuff most likely maybe I have to revisit this game after it launches to know how much did it actually change but at current uh, stage this is already uh, quite interesting in my opinion and you c I could see this one becoming quite popular depending of course uh, what happens to games such as Tier Online and those if they actually become free to play they might still well, they, it might steal uh, quite a lot of population that would otherwise come to this game as they are pretty similar in my opinion. But well, why not have both since some claim that there are just not enough to do with terror and maybe they can continue here what they didn't find in that game. So, I wonder if I have anything else to mention. Well, if I just give brief analysis on the graphics, as you can see, they are, well, nothing major, but decent enough. The characters are pretty simplistic, and apparently, there seems to be some same mentality as other Korean games that having iron brass or is the best armor selection for female but well 
you got to do everything to kind of male lady audience I, pr I think and who am I to charge I'm playing the, this female character with big boobs but anyway let's not focus on that either so yeah I strongly recommend following up this game and trying to sign up for the beta and see if this is something you would enjoy I definitely will and I don't call this groundbreaking but I think it's still a pretty cool a game let's just see how it does with the time and how it matures uh, with the time if it's become if the bad things in the game gets polished this is pretty solid option for everyone wanted to play these kind of games of course the big Cold Wars 2 is coming soon and it might steal a lot of population but the good thing is that this is free to play so it doesn't matter in that sense that Cold Wars 2 is coming so that it doesn't actually compete with the quest money that much of course they have to make money with this game also so it does compete in that sense but anyway I hope you understand my point so yeah my name is Ruby is taking a look at Raiders currently in closed beta looking forward for what will happen to this game and uh, I hope it will be good thank you for watching please remember to leave a comment to my videos hit the like button if you think this was nice video and you can also leave some suggestions to the comment section if you think you have something in your mind that would improve my videos Also remember to subscribe to receive the notice when I release new videos. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.